Okay, welcome to Treeline Pursuits. Um, you can check out our articles and, and some of our backcountry um, how-tos on treelinepursuits.com. Today, we're gonna do something we don't usually do. We don't usually um, tie flies, but right now, bear season's coming to an end here in Montana, and um, you know we're turning our attention to fishing for the summer, so right now the salmon flies are really hatching. And um, so I decided to do a little video on my salmon fly pattern. Um, this is what it looks like um, complete. And we'll get started. Okay, first of all, we're gonna we're using a number eight, three X long shank hook, and we're using an orange um, thread. Just you know, any orange thread that. The actual color on the sand fly is a little duller than than this, but this seemed to work really well when I did it. So we're just gonna wrap our thread back. And again, we're gonna cover this up. We're gonna cover this up with, um, with dubbing. So I like to lay down a thread base just to give the dubbing something to grab onto and keep it from sliding around once we start tying the foam bodies on. Okay, so now we're gonna use a little bit of, um, it's a burnt orange with just a little bit of flash in it. It's a really nice dubbing for this fly. We're gonna put it on pretty liberal because we're gonna, this is a big fly. So we're going to, um, A nice long thread on here. And we're gonna wrap that up. We're gonna go back right to the bend of the hook, and then we're gonna come forward. Again, we're putting it on fairly thick. Not too woolly, but you can see that's looking nice. These flies are fishing really well right now. It's June. It's around June 15th here in Montana. The flies were they were out in droves the other day. And I caught a couple and brought them back to my to my office and kind of studied them a little. And that's where I kind of came up with this this color pattern. There's a lot of orange in these flies, especially banded. And we'll talk about that when we get to that in a minute. So again, it takes a little bit of dubbing to get the full body. I want the full body underneath to be. So again, we're gonna just kind of tighten up here at the eye, and then we're gonna come back with wide segments throughout the body, come back to the body. Now that we got the body all dubbed, we're ready to put on the, the foam. So I'm, I, I'm tying two different kinds of these right now. I'm tying a dark brown, underbelly and then I've got one with a tan top and one with an orange top so we've tied quite a few tan ones so we'll just do the orange one now this is pretty thick foam and you have to pull a little bit hard so once in a while your thread will break but um, if it does break I'll show you a little tip that I use so you tie it on here where You've got a pretty decent for the extended body, and then you've got the rest up for the head. So then you just go at an angle to the tail, and, and around, pull it a couple times, and an angle. I hope you can see that good. This is my first fly time video, so it's a little, a little bit different than what I'm used to. Doing videos about packing packs. I didn't leave quite enough on this tail, so but we got enough. It just makes it a little it makes it a little tight to deal with when you don't have a lot to grab a hold of. Okay, so once you get to the end, you're gonna come right back up. You're gonna put an X and cross up to the next segment. X cross up, X cross up, and then up to the body. Don't worry about the foam moving around on you at this point, um, because once we once we get it tied down to the um, to the dubbing, it'll firm up. 
So then, same thing going forward. You're just going to go up, take a bite, create another segment. Go up, take a bite, create another segment. Bite, segment. Take another segment. Okay, so right, we're now right at the eye, the head. So we're just gonna take a couple extra wraps. And then we're gonna snip off this head with just about Probably just a little over, just a little bit in front of the eye, maybe a shy of an eighth of an inch. So now we've got our head and our body. So now we're going to tie on some front legs. And I'm using some barred, barred sexy floss for this. I just tie them straight out, kind of like this. It just, it just makes it easy. And then I tie a real short leg there. And then I put it there. And then real short leg. Okay, so then we just come back again a couple of segments, two segments, and then we're gonna tie in the second set of legs. I tie them a little bit lower on the body, so they hang down just a little bit. We can trim these legs up a little bit more later. Okay, so now, if you notice on Samifly, if you notice, they've got some orange banding on them. So when I do this segment, you don't have to worry about um, too much of the banding um, with the thread covering the, the um, dubbing because the banding is, is kind of occurs naturally. Okay, so you can see this. This is a piece of thin skin. It's got a transparency to it, and it's a speckled. It's kind of the speckled thin skin. I cut it with a a curve at the back, and then it tapers up narrow at the front. So we're gonna lay this right on top. It gives it a skin look, but it also gives it that wing at the same time. So now, once we get that, we're going to come back up. We're going to cross up again to the next segment. And we're not worried too much about thread here because the, the banding is natural. So then we're going to take some gray... this in here and we just bend it over there and now we're gonna take it back to get it to lay down we're gonna do that same crossover pattern back to the next segment again okay now we're gonna cross back up to the segment in front of that okay just to make things simple I'm gonna go ahead and trim this a little bit right the same length as the first so then we're gonna take that tab of thin skin and fold it back cross over again back up to the segment okay and I like to whip finish it right in the middle of the body right there where it's at instead of coming back so you take a few wraps and then I like to finish it right on top And I take just a drop of Zappa Gap right where that thread ties. Then I come back and I'll kind of trim up that that flap, that wing casing flap. Then I'll come back to the head and I'll just kind of shape that head up a little bit. Cut off, basically just cut off the corners. And then slope. Got 
add some foam in my glue there. Okay, so now my legs are looking fine. They're a little crazy there. Straighten up my legs. And there you have it. The Montana salmon fly. Thanks for watching Treeline Pursuits. Again, you can check out more of our articles and our backcountry hunting things at treelinepursuits.com and on Instagram at treelinepursuits.